Hey Kids Life, welcome back to our Fear Buster series, where we've been exploring different characters in the Bible and how they overcame fear when they were faced with difficult situations. I wonder who we're gonna learn about today. But first, you guessed it, it's game time. So this game is called the Blind Cloth Toss. To play this game, you're gonna need an empty basket, a bunch of cloths or socks, whatever you have at home, and some blindfolds. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna face your partner. Then, you're gonna attempt to get one of your cloths in the empty basket. Ooh, nice. Once you've got one in, you can take a step back and try again. You're gonna keep doing this until you're completely out of cloths. Then, you're gonna try it all again, but blindfolded. We're giving you three minutes on the clock. You ready? Three, two, one, go! That was so fun. Let's go see what our friends Johnny and Davey are up to. David. Oh! Johnny, you gave me a fright. I didn't even see you come in. Davey, what is going on? I haven't seen you this nervous since that time you had to have that, that, that mushroom casserole. Oh, Johnny, I do hate mushroom casserole, mm. but there is one thing that is scarier than that. One thing more scary than mushroom casserole? Yes. What is it, David? Public speaking, Johnny. I would rather eat mushroom casserole with extra mushrooms than have to do public speaking, Johnny. Well, David, take a breath. Everything is going to be okay. You don't understand, Johnny. I don't want to do public speaking. I would stand in front of the class all by myself. Use me standing there, right there, public speaking in front of everybody. I would go fail. I can't even make breakfast by myself. How do you expect me to do public speaking? 
Well, thankfully, Daisy, you won't be alone. What tarnation do you mean by that, Johnny? I think we should go see Mr. Lop. He has a great Bible story that I think will benefit you very much. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Top of the morning to you, Kids Life. What a joy to have you back in the library. Come back for another tale, have you? I hear you've been learning about Hannah's joy, Caleb's courage, Ruth's loyalty, Mary's faithfulness, and Joey's patience. Oh, I mean Joseph. Well, get excited, Kids Life. Grab your favorite pet rock and snuggle up because we're in for a special treat today. We're gonna learn about Jesus' love. Let's get into the Word. All right, dudes. When Jesus walked the earth, he knew that he would eventually die so that we could live. Before Jesus was killed, he went to the garden to pray to God, the Father. In that quiet garden, right before he was taken away to be killed, he knelt down, dudes, and prayed with anguish. Father, if you're willing, please take what I'm about to suffer away from me. But I want your will to be done, not mine. Jesus was asking his father if there was any other way that people might be saved that would spare him from the terrible pain he was about to go through. But he knew deep down that his death was the only way, dudes. While he was still praying in the garden, an angel from heaven appeared and gave Jesus strength. And he prayed harder. Yeah, he was nervous and afraid, but he didn't let fear stop him. It was Jesus' love for us that gave him the strength. He needed to do all that he was sent to do. Jesus laid down his life for us in the most incredible act of love ever, so that we would never be alone in our fear ever again. If anything can overcome fear, it's love, dudes. Wow! If anyone had a reason to feel fear, Johnny, it was Jesus. Exactly, Davey. But Jesus loved us so much. Hmm. That's why he died. He didn't want fear to win. Yeah. And he died, so now fear can never, ever, ever, ever win. Hey, he saved us. Mm-hmm. That's like in our memory verse in Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. Exactly. The Lord gives me strength. Strength. And makes me see. Makes me see. He has saved me. Saved me. He is my God. My God. And I will praise him. Oh, Johnny, I don't have to have fear when I'm going to present. David, because you're not alone. Hey, Johnny, yes. I'm just, I'm so thankful that I have a big brother like you to, to teach me about Jesus, especially when I'm feeling fear. I love you so much, David. I love you too, Johnny. Well, I gotta get to my presentation. How to teach a dog Spanish. Spanish? So because of what Jesus' love did for us, we never again have to stay afraid. When we feel scared, we can choose to remember what his love did. And when we choose to love God and others like Jesus did, love will always win. Thanks for joining us, Kids Life. We can't wait to see you back next week where we find out what our brand new series will be. 